So this is our fifth day in Portugal. It was Bonnie's birthday and we woke up early and got to the airport and flew back to Lisbon. It was uh, it was fun and unexpected. We got back to Lisbon. We took the van to the car rental place and our car wasn't ready. So we had like, I think maybe at least an hour. And Frank's like, let's go look for a place to eat. And so we walked around the corner and found this local, um, I mean, it's not a tavern, it's not a bar. It was just this local place that people would come to eat lunch. And it was probably one of the best meals I remember having in Portugal, but probably just because it was a fun memory. They, when they found out it was my birthday, they brought uh, flan and sang and we got to meet, like everybody that came in we, it was somebody that you could tell was very familiar and they told us about their jobs and even took us to the furniture maker's warehouse next door and it was just a fun uh, way to kind of start my birthday. <laughs> After maybe an hour or two, finally our car was ready. So we went to, what did we do? Oh, we went to our, we didn't Airbnb. have a hostel. We had an Airbnb yeah, we now. Yeah, Airbnb. And dropped our stuff off. And we decided to walk around and look for, we were looking for the Arboretum or something. Is that what we were looking for? Maybe. I think we had passed some gardens on our first day and we were maybe going back to look for them. And I think when we were looking for them, we came across in our research an Arboretum, which wasn't what we realized we were looking for, but it just basically we just walked around the town more and found things that we hadn't seen before. Well, we did walk through a little garden. Yeah, we did. It was a really pretty park. We went into several churches walked through a park where there was music mm -hmm. that was the one we were looking for but wasn't really called the arboretum because we had seen this one at night mm -hmm. that night we went and got ice cream at neva's I right think. this one has the big tree yeah thing in it. so we went back to and found that park it was nice i mean everywhere you go in everywhere in portugal there was like gathering spots and people and music so super enjoyable then i think we decided to head towards the water um, from a different angle than we had seen it before um, so we were just walking through new parts of the town that we haven't seen before towards the water which is nice because most of it was downhill <laughs> and we kept coming to this area every time we would end up back at that um by level park um was this at some point, there was like actually a street fair there. Mm -hmm. I think that's when we came back. Okay. It was just beautiful because we were trying to figure out what to eat and where we we're going to get street food at the. Right. Yeah, I guess during yeah, yeah during this time in Portugal is uh, they do lots of festivals. Festivals. Like during this month in the Azores, there was supposed to be like a festival somewhere every day. Right when we were leaving, it, it, that was starting. So I guess in Portugal it was, or Lisbon, it was also starting. I don't know what they were celebrating. But we walked a long time. Always walked a long time. I think there was always like 30,000 steps. I loved it. Yeah, you always see something new. There's churches everywhere. You can probably do a, a vlog or something just on the churches we go to visit because <laughs> we go see so many of them. And we found the famous Pink Street on the way to the water, which is almost one of the last streets before you do get to the water. But we ended up, I think, at the water in a more industrial area this time. So we just kept walking and got back to, and actually found a, another, I mean, there's parks everywhere another park in front of the big plaza where people were hanging out having music yeah so we just hung out by the water for a little bit and then we headed back kind of the way we came except 
we went on the lower level on the way back, so it was a little bit different. We actually got to go on the Pink Street, and then it was almost evening, and so you get to see these amazing, uh, I guess, sunsets on the city, where half of it is lit and half of it is in the twilight already, which is real pretty. And we, our Airbnb was this little yellow place on the corner of, not too busy of street. In the morning, it was cable real cars. busy. The yeah. cable cars ran down uh, there, yeah. though. Cable car was real noisy when it came. <laughs> but it was a, I liked the Airbnb. Oh, it was beautiful. It didn't have any air conditioning. You had to open the windows and stuff, so it was kind of warm. But it wasn't too bad. But with the windows open, it was hard for me to sleep just because of the noise from the street. But that's pretty much it on that day. We walked and walked and walked and walked and walked. I think we picked up some food while we were walking. I can't even remember. Yeah. I think that's when we ate the fish, cheese fish sticks, maybe. And then we just headed back to the apartment and... Packed. Packed, because we were leaving again tomorrow. Yeah, so I think you knew the plans already. I told you everything we were doing right, maybe. Not exactly, except I knew we were going to go up north to Porto, and I think we were just going to make our way there and figure it out along the way. But I didn't really know uh, the plans in Porto. Yeah. Yeah. So we just came home, chilled, went to bed and got ready for... A road trip. A drive for the <laughs> next day. So that was, it was just a real chill birthday. I don't even think we went for dinner. Did we go for dinner on your birthday? We had to have eaten somewhere. I think that was... When we came back, we went back to the festival and got food. Yes. I got ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah. We did. We stopped at that festival. And I got a ham and cheese sandwich. Like Spanish ham and cheese. It was yummy. And I don't know what you got. Something cheesy. Meat. I had some pork sausage or something but it was really good and we just sat out on the terrace down there in the evening and then we came home again. so we did go out for dinner so that was good i enjoyed it i hope it was a good birthday for you as well it was a wonderful birthday anytime i'm with you mm. <laughs>